I have a lot of experience with crews in USA in the arcade. I feel like at one point, this game was everywhere. Um, every arcade, every like pizza place, every movie theater. It was all over the place. So a few years ago, I saw a cruise in USA on the N64, and I had to pick it up to see how good the port was. I knew it existed, but I never really heard much about it. And I really like it. I feel like it's a pretty good recreation of the arcade. Uh, a lot of people say that it's kind of bland, but I feel like that's kind of helped it age a little better than a lot of the other more polygon-looking games on the system. The maps, for the most part, are pretty varied. You're obviously, judging by the name, you go across the United States. Most of the tracks are in California, and they kind of spread apart the further you go. And it's really cool how they're interconnected. Like, the beginning of one level will be like the end of the other level, and so on and so forth. Like I said about the graphics, I actually really like them. And a lot of other games, like maybe Beetle Adventure Racing, or when I have this Lamborghini game, or F-Zero, seem like they've aged a little poorly compared to this. And this kind of has that same arcade look that I was used to seeing back in the day. There's not too many car choices. There's only like five. You got a Ferrari. You got a old Corvette. You got what I think is a Jaguar. And then you got some kind of like 1930s car. I kind of wish there was more. They uh, fixed that with later games. But for this one, it's a little lacking. But, you know, whatever. It gets the job done. And I think the car models look pretty decent. I especially like the Ferrari one. This game is pretty quick. It can be beaten in about 45 minutes, but since it's based off an arcade game, I kind of get it. And I like short games. Uh, not every game has to be, you know, 10 plus hours long for me to enjoy it. The enemy AI is pretty much the only thing that gave me a problem in this game at all. And maybe the hit detection. Sometimes you'll be seeming like you're going to sideswipe a car but you end up just like getting in a head-on collision with it or whatever. And the AI can be super aggressive sometimes. But if you get a good start, you won't even see them most of the game. So yeah, it's not too big of a deal. So that's about it for Cruising USA. I would definitely recommend this game for collectors, especially because it's super cheap. Um, if you're just trying to get into it and kind of fill out your collection... I would pick it up and pick up a lot of other cheap titles, honestly. And this is one of the better ones that's in the really low $5 price range. So that's about it for Cruising USA. There is a multiplayer mode, which I've never played, but I assume it's just your basic split screen. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll be making more of these videos in the future. Thanks, bye.